Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the True Catalyst PX Goalie Stick. It's a 26 inch mid curve two snapshot review. So unfortunately, I can't justify spending $400 on a goalie stick like this and to actually use it. Even though I just broke two of my goalie sticks that I've used a lot and really like, 400 bucks for one of these is just too much. This is a special edition crazy light one. So it's even more expensive than normal. I think these are like 350. So this one is just up there, but here is a look at the curve. As you can see, it's their mid curve too. So it's just a mid curve. It feels pretty close to the P31 that is on Bauer and kind of the curve I try to grab for everything because it's everyone kind of has a similar one to it, but that is what it is. So True went a crazy way with this stick and made it like their light, crazy designation stuff. True started this, the PX, with the Project X, which was on their player sticks in the past, and it was the lightest stick on the market, but none of the sticks that I weighed, and I weighed like 12, or even close. I made a video on it, you can see it up there. True Engineer even responded to it and talked about it, and made a comment on how you have to take the butt end plug out, this thing, to actually get the weights correct. I'm not gonna do that in goalie sticks, because all the sticks I weigh have that in there, because people keep that in there, and that's, I use that. So anyways, I'm not taking that out for this. This is crazy and this is on a whole new level. Basically, the overview of what the Project X is and True's new naming convention of PX on things. So the Catalyst had a 9X, which was previously the lightest goalie stick on the market. And I called it out before an Instagram post. This is even a lighter version. So the PX is always kind of like the limited edition, more expensive, as you can see at the $400 Canadian price tag. Sticks that they do and they kind of come out with. There's their next line, which is called the Hazardous. It's gonna be the same thing. I don't know if they're doing goalie sticks, but for player sticks, it'll be the same thing where they'll have a 9X and then a PX, which is their super lightweight, more expensive version of like what they have. And this is kind of a continuation of that. So it's kind of a copy of what Bauer has done with their ADV lines, where they came out with like limited, more expensive, lighter weight sticks. Kind of the same idea here, but you don't get like a certificate and stuff like that when you buy these. It's just kind of on the shelf and they're lighter. So if you wanna see me do f more full, long-term reviews and actual reviews where I can test products out and not just do snapshots like this review and you live in the United States, check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey or Pure Goalie. Clicking that link, making a purchase gives me a kickback, helps with the channel so I can keep making videos and making more content like this. Otherwise, check out Patreon and buy me a coffee also in the description. Everything that goes through any of those sites comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing more videos and talking about gear and doing real reviews. Now, before we jump into any of the important stuff, we're just gonna talk about the looks of this stick because it's not important at all, but it it looks awesome. Just to put it out there, I love their black and gold color scheme, and you can see it kind of all the way up here with this kind of honeycomb hexagon design and the gold up here. It looks pretty, I'm not gonna say clean because gold is kind of out there, but it looks great. And it's kind of understated when you get to the paddle down here, and it's a nice looking thing there. And you do have the exposed carbon everywhere, as you can see. And you can see kind of the point where the sock, I guess, of the outer layer gets covered up on the paddle right there. You have their kind of textured grip right here. You can see the honeycombs. It's not really that textured. It honestly feels more like there's a honeycomb pattern underneath and you just spray lightly on it. But it's, so it's not like the drip pattern that was on the interesting AX9 uh, goalie six, but it is nice nonetheless. I kind of like how they do something unique here and it's just not normal grip but that pattern does go all the way up here, as you can see. And this isn't grippy up here, so it's only grippy from like right about here down to like right there is the only grippy parts, and then this part's a little bit more. But the rest of it is a gloss finish, and they don't have a crazy finish on the blade, like that texture that things are doing right now, and there's nothing really up here or no crazy shaft shapes right there. The interesting thing I find about this stick is how the blade kind of looks, and you can kind of see it right here, and there's a kind of a line like right down here, and you can kind of see it on the back too. So I think the reason for this, and you can see it on the edge right there, how it doesn't kind of go all the way over, it feels like it kind of just stops right there. And when we flip it over, you can see kind of why, because there's this awesome X into the carbon right here. So obviously this external layer of carbon that you can see is just purely decoration, and you can see it kind of end right there. I'm trying to get this on camera. I can see it, but it's harder to show but it does kind of end like right there and right there. So this whole has like this section has an entire layer right here of just aesthetic carbon fiber, which has that X put into it, which I think is an awesome look and is fantastic. I love this idea and I wish more companies would do stuff like that. It probably does end up weighing like a few grams more just because you have that extra layer of carbon for the look. 
but it does look fantastic. And while it will be covered up with tape, it's, I just, I love that. I absolutely love that. And I hope, or I wish companies would do more things with carbon inlay like that. Cause that looks so good. And is one of like the coolest things in terms of looks on sticks I've seen in a long time. But yeah, you can see where the end of that kind of that, not sock, but that kind of panel just goes to the tips because it doesn't really go all that way. The paddle shape is honestly nothing special or anything like that. Unlike Bowers, which are kind of flat on one side, rounded on the other. Same with Warriors where they kind of change up here. This one is just bigger up at the top where your hand are is, as you can see, and it just gets a little slimmer as it comes down. But even then it's like pretty minimal when it comes down and it's just pretty standard straight through. It's pretty flat down here and a little bit more rounded here, but nothing crazy. And it's not that flat like Bauer feels. And it is kind of, it feels like it's pretty symmetrical on both sides. So nothing crazy going on there. Same with when it goes to the blade, nothing crazy there. It's all pretty standard. And as a comparison, you can see how like the Bauer is totally flat on one side and rounded on the other. That's on the Vapors and Supreme has a crazy cutout on the top end ones, but that's kind of the difference between those two there. So the sizing of this stick, this is a 26 inch stick and it ends up lining up perfectly with a Bauer 26 or if it's not perfect, it's so close that it might as well be. So it is true to size in that sense. It's not like a Warrior where Warrior 26 is a 25, everything else. But the interesting thing that True did do is the shaft length on the True is smaller, like on the Hyperlite. So you can see how it doesn't go that far. It's a little bit bigger than the Hyperlite, but when you compare it to a normal goalie stick, so this is a 27, but the Hyperlite was like the first Bauer stick that did a shorter overall uh, shaft length. And as you can see, old 26s used to be this tall. And now all the Hyperlites are smaller like this. And the same goes for this True Project X. So while this is the lightest stick, and I'll get to that in a second, it's kind of a little bit of an asterisk there just because sticks like the Ultrasonic, if that was cut down, it might be lighter. But it is going for a smaller overall size even though it's still 26, but I don't mind this at all. And this is a nice puck handling feature and kind of balance feature. So I don't mind that being cut down, but I just want to call attention to it. The other thing that's kind of interesting about this stick, and I actually had multiple people message me about this when I showed this on Instagram, is that the shaft seems very small. So when you put in your hand, it feels tiny in your hands. And I took out, and I took out my measuring tape and it is tiny in your hand. So it actually is smaller than a traditional stick size. And what we'll do is we'll wrap this around on camera as well, just so people know I'm not making this up. And there you go, there you can see it right there. So just under nine centimeters wrapped. And if we take a competitor stick, which is the Hyperlite, and this is obviously away from the Penta part, it is right here. And you can see the Bauer is basically nine millimeters right there. So it is a slightly bigger and thicker in shaft than what the true is. While this is taped up, so it's not as easy to see, you can see the kind of rounded corners on the true shaft. That basically is probably where it loses some of its size, but it definitely feels way smaller in your hand compared to the Vapor. While I don't really have a problem with this rounded shaft, I do know on the player side of things, some people do have some issues and prefer a more square shaft, specifically for twisting motion, because if it is rounded, it is easier for your hands to kind of twist in there. Whereas if it is a totally square design and a very square design, it kind of stays locked in place better. So personally, I would have to use this with pucks to see if this really does anything but it just feels different. And honestly, it feels great in your hands when you actually hold it, it feels very nice. So I gotta give them credit for it, but it is slightly smaller in full dimensions than compared to the Bauer. It's basically like 0.4 of a centimeter smaller or four millimeters smaller than what the Bauer is. And it's not a ton obviously, but it is something to call out. So something that is interesting is while this does have the weave exposed all through the paddle and the blade, it actually stops on the shaft itself. So you can see it right here, you can see it right here, but then it gets covered up by this graphic all the way up here. So I'm really curious if this, that weave kind of goes all the way up here or not. When you open it up, you can't really see anything inside because it's all kind of unfinished and everything. So you can't really get an idea of what that weave is, or at least I can't when looking at it. But I want to call it out because it's interesting in the sense that Bauer uses their kind of bigger weave down here, as you can see. But then when it gets to the shaft, you can see how it uses the smaller woven carbon in there. So it is a different idea there. So I'm curious if something similar is happening on the True. This should also give a pretty decent idea of what this shaft shape kind of looks like and looking in here. And you can see just how tiny this feels. It does really look and feel smaller than a normal 
shaft does but the walls of it are like do still look pretty thick which was kind of surprising to me for how lightweight this is usually the rare limited edition sticks have super thin walls this one doesn't have that for here so it's kind of surprised with that but i'm curious to see how thick down here and everything is but obviously without breaking it i can't tell so as a comparison between this is the goalie stick this is the px player sick and this is just an ax9 player sick so this isn't like the crazy thin one or light one it's just a normal one you can see the difference in thickness on the goalie stick which i think is kind of interesting considerably thicker which makes sense since it's taking a ton of impact and stuff like that but considerably thicker all around than what these ones are and even the px though isn't crazy thin compared to what the normal ax is it just looks a lot thinner on the top but it doesn't really look that much of a difference you can see a little bit of difference but crazy for the weight savings on this stick even with a pretty thick and beefy shaft like that so kind of interesting that that is how it would end up being made before we jump into the weight of this if you're in canada and you'd like to support the channel so i can keep doing real reviews and making more content and hopefully like try stuff out like this and not just do snapshot reviews check out the link in the description to hockey supremacy clicking that link making a purchase gives me a kickback Again, everything through there will come right back in the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews. Now, for the weight of this stick, this is where this stick is ridiculously impressive. And I kind of talked about some of the things that kind of might help with that. But this stick comes in at 571 grams, and that is ridiculous. That's a 27 inch stick. And that is my own scale, my own weighing. So all the sticks I've ever weighed ended up on the same thing. Just for some comparisons, which will be up on the screen here. So this true catalyst px 571 grams very impressive the 9x which was the predecessor to this without the crazy lightweight version and a little bit cheaper 623 grams which was also very very impressive and it was a full height shaft stick it wasn't kind of cut down like the hyperlight here so very impressive in that ultrasonic was 639 warrior v2 pro plus 660 and a hyperlight was 622 grams and again hyperlight while that is a small number it is a shorter shaft compared to the catalyst so that's very impressive for true and that is awesome and i have to say when holding this stick it feels so so ridiculously light it feels unreal i absolutely love it i when i grabbed this stick i was blown away with how light this thing felt in my hand i put a blocker on and held it and i was like wow you can really notice the difference i've been switching between this hyper light and a couple other in this in a warrior that ends up being about 26 inches in length and a 24 inch wooden stick and the difference between that was very noticeable it's almost the same as going from that from like these to this is how noticeably lighter the stick is it just feels unbelievable going from this stick to like the old generation so i'm calling like ccm Premier 2 this 2x pro is night and day is unbelievable how light this is true deserves a ton of credit for getting this thing to be that light it's honestly crazy impressive and i'm impressed at the numbers to say the least now here's where i'm upset that i can't actually test this stick and actually use it and see how it actually performs one i can't shoot anything right now with goalie sticks i unfortunately have a wrist injury while i'm not wearing a brace i've been wearing a brace for the last three months playing goalie which i can only wear one glove which is the ultrasonic glove that fits over the brace so unfortunately i can't shoot because i can't put weight on the my wrist like this to actually shoot a goalie stick i can shoot a player stick fine because all the weights on this one but for a goalie stick it's going like this and it really bothers my wrist so unfortunately i can't shoot this stick with that said shooting isn't the most important thing to me on goalie stick so it's not a huge deal to me anyways the thing that is a big deal is how the actual stick feels so like the pinginess of this and everything through there i really wish i could cut this in half and see what the foams are in here if or whatever's in here to make this the way it is i had a huge problem with an old true stick which i think was a 6.0 where it vibrated like crazy i sold that thing so fast because this, it vibrated and it felt awful in my hands and i hated it compared to all the other sticks i've ever used even like the ccm Premier 2 which isn't a super soft and dampened stick that true was just on another level and i I honestly just absolutely hate it. Unfortunately, I can't shoot pucks at this and see how it feels. All I can do is my puck test, which is this. And for that, this stick is still the pingiest and like I can feel the most vibrations. And basically the best way I find to do this is just holding the stick like this and then doing this and seeing how much of it you can feel up here. Obviously that won't replicate perfectly how a game would be where you actually get hard shots and stuff like that but it's the best I can do while I still can return this stick. And this stick, besides my CCM Premier 2, 
feels the most, I feel the most vibrations through it. So I don't know how this is actually going to play and if it's actually dampened at all or not. I'm really curious to see if they did something on it. Back when the AX9 goalie stick came out, True Engineer, one of the stick engineers, had an like AMA on their Instagram page. And I asked them what they did to change the vibrations because the old one was more and they said they dampened it. And they said something like adding something foam. But when I asked the question, it wasn't like an instant, oh, we did exactly this. It almost seemed like it was more of a afterthought. So it wasn't really something that they did. And when I picked up an AX9, it didn't seem all that different. So I'm curious to see how this is. So if anyone has broken this stick or the Catalyst 9X and has a picture of what this looks like on the inside, please let me know. And especially on the blade too, if it is, because I want to see if there's like the bladed ri uh, the braided ribs through here. Please let me know, send it to me. I would love to see that because I have a compilation of some broken sticks, as you can see me overlaying right now, just getting an idea of what the different materials are inside goalie sticks. I also have my own broken hyperlight, which you can see here, and where you can see the foam on the insides of here that give that dampening. And I think the puck feel on the hyperlight was pretty solid and it wasn't too piggy or anything and not enough, like doesn't have a ton of vibrations. So it felt pretty good. So I'm curious to see what the true sticks have. So if anyone has some of that, please let me know. I also recently shaved down my CCM Premier 2 stick. So it acts more like a 25 inch than a 27. And the interior pieces that came off of it looked like this. And this is foam around the edges. So I'd be like right here and right here. And then this was the carbon piece that goes down the center. So you can see what foam was kind of used in there as either filler or for dampening purposes. But I'd be really curious to see what is in these and if they kind of did anything different there and if it is a dampened stick. So if you use this, please let me know. I wanna know how pingy it is compared to some other sticks on the market. Big concern about true sticks, especially when they do like these lightweight crazy models is honestly durability. Cause obviously I can't use these, I can't test them long enough. And the only true stick I did actually buy and use, it was too pingy so I got rid of it and moved on from it. This stick is a true AX9 that I had and did a review on and you can see how like the grip on it is peeling on the sides. There's no more grip on this edge basically and it's just right here and it peels off. So this is kind of what I'm talking about for durability concerns. That's happening with the grip. Now this stick broke and you can see some like the foam in there and you can see the bladed ribs right in the middle there. But the, it breaking is not a huge concern to me. Someone used this for actually quite a while so this one wasn't a big concern. I have heard awful things about true goalie sticks and unfortunately, that is all I can go off of. I would love to review one of these things or even just a 9X and test it out, but I can't justify spending money on that, unfortunately, just because of what else I'm buying and spending things is kind of lower on my priorities. So I can't talk about my experiences with that. So if you have yours, please leave them in the comments and let me know, because I would love to hear how these actually perform and survive. So far, it's not looking good, but again, everything I'm talking about here is just through what comments I hear and if people have bad comments chances are they're going to talk about those bad comments more but if people have bad experiences chances are they're going to talk about those bad experiences more than if they had good experiences so that's about it unfortunately for this true catalyst px snapshot review again unfortunately I can't use this I have to return it and I can't test it out and really put it through its paces which I would love to do but it is what it is unfortunately but I thought this stick deserved some kind of coverage because of how crazy light it is and how true is really knocking those numbers down and kind of impressive considering what they used to be their new lines are really up there in terms of spec sheet wise so that's kind of impressive and i want to talk about it performance on the other hand again i can't talk about it, unfortunately thank you very much for watching hopefully it was helpful if you want to see me review these in like full please let true know on instagram and social media they have a ton of like true people that they send stuff to all the time and hey, if you say, I would love to see hockey reviews or this, you never know what would happen. So if you do want to see me do like more full reviews and actually like buy sticks like this to test out and you're buying hockey equipment, check out the links in the description. If you're in the US to Pure Hockey, if you're in Canada to Hockey Supremacy, click on those links, make them purchase, gives me a kickback, helps support channel so I can do real tests and stuff like that. Otherwise, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me coffee. Everything again through there comes right back in here so I can make more content. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.